Hey guys, Dan here. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to have a quick look at the SimGrade VX Pro pedals. This is just a first impression video, not a full review or something. I'm making this because they have a pre-order on these going on right now and I think these pedals are insane value and for the pre-order price even cheaper. SimGrade did send me this set to check out. I requested it early on when I saw the first renders because I thought, okay, at this price point, this could be absolutely insane. And it turns out it is, but yeah, first impression. I will post the full review of these in a few weeks after more extensive testing, but I quickly will talk about these. So the most interesting part for the video is probably the price because the pre-order price is 299 for the two pedal set and 435 for the three pedal set will be later 547 for three pedals and 399 for two pedals. All these prices are plus taxes, but I can already tell you this is an insane deal and I think they are selling them way too cheap. I'll quickly talk a little bit about the pedals. We'll start with the throttle. This is actually not a travel measuring throttle. It's a load measuring throttle. That brings the disadvantage that it's slightly progressive with this design, but you can just linearize it in software. That's not a big deal. Just put a logarithmic curve on it and it feels like any other throttle in the world. We do have medium throw on the throttle. If you like a throttle pedal with a ton of travel, these might not be for you. But I would say they are around about in the midfield of all the pedals that I've tried. This is the maximum throw here that I can do. And it uses a very clever design because if you look at the back here, they use bearings that pretty much slide on top of the load cell. And by that, the bearings push on the load cell and that's how it generates the signal. And it's being done like that on all the three pedals. Configurability on the throttle pedal, you can adjust this pedal plate in height. You can't adjust it left or right, but since these are pedals that just mount to your profiles or to the base plate and they can move in the slot, it's not really a big deal. It's an insanely compact design. The whole pedal is round about 56 millimeters at the base and the spacing between the holes is 80 millimeters. I really like how they look, very compact. Then you have three settings for the strength, kind of similar to other SimGrade pedals. Typically, you can just change this point where the spring attaches to the rest um, in three positions. This is the weakest. I mean, this is so weak, I would not recommend to use it. But the second and the third position feel very good. I use the strongest position with quite a bit of preload on the spring because I like a stiff throttle. I measured these at about 7.5 to 8 kilogram of pedal pressure in the stiffest setting. The production version will probably be even a little stronger because you can apply slightly more preload on the spring, but this is perfectly fine as it is. Then the brake uses a similar principle. As you can see, the bearings here in the bottom that slide on top of the load cell and that's how they generate the signal. I cannot push it with my hand, but I'll show you some B-roll how it works. It's very interesting because you can really see how the load cell deflects and generates the signal like that. Adjustability, preload for the spring and force setting where the spring attaches to this arm thingy to change it. Very easy, remove the preload of the spring and then you can put it in this position. This is the brick wall position. If you like a very, very stiff pedal, you barely get any pedal travel on this. I don't like it. I actually like the softest or the second softest position. So to change it, just put it in this position and then add some preload to the spring. Secure it with the second nut and you're good to go. The brake feels insanely good. It feels as good as the best brakes that I've reviewed here on the channel. The brake also has a two-stage system. They don't really advertise it very actively, but there are spacers within the spring where you can determine when you hit that second stage. You can see it very nice on the pedal cam here. And after you hit that stage where the pedal pretty much doesn't move anymore, you still get inputs after that because the load cell still deflects more. By the way, the flex that you see, it's not the pedals, it's actually my Track Racer pedal plate. It looks bad on a video, but you don't ever notice that while you're actually driving. But hey, we're all SimRacer, it flexes, oh my God, unusable, no. It's perfectly fine. The brake does not come with extra springs. SimGrade is thinking about offering extra springs, blue and red, a softer and a stronger one, maybe. I don't even know. I don't think it's needed. The yellow spring covers from relatively soft to insanely stiff. I don't think there's any need for that, but there might be a kit in the future. Not a crazy amount of adjustability, but I think for the price, it's more than good enough. Then on the clutch, again, similar stuff. You can adjust the pedal face in height. You have two positions for the strength setting pretty much. And something that is very genius on the clutch, I can't really push it with my hands, but you can see this, this little metal plate in the bottom here, uh, actually here. And that pretty much determines how the bite point feels. And you can adjust this forward and backward to basically determine where the bite point non-linearity will happen. They also give you different 
plates for different feeling clutch bite points. I think it's a genius idea. These probably cost nothing to make and are super easy to customize if somebody wants, some, for example, linear or so, like me. Great idea, I think. And really, I don't know a lot about clutches, but I've never had a clutch that is as customizable in terms of bite point adjustment like this. A simple but clever design with these bearings rolling on the metal part or on the load cells like on the other pedals. The pedal faces are insanely comfortable with socks. With shoes, there's still enough grip. You can adjust them in height by loosening these two bolts here and then move it up down. Very nice, even though the default position has been fine for me. There are two add-ons that you can buy. There are these side support brackets for 23 euros plus taxes that just attach to the rear here and then is pretty much an end stop for your foot. Very nice, I really like those. And another thing that you probably know from the dentist chair, the R7 pedals from SimGrade, are these, how do they call them? Tilting heel plates. This just attaches to the throttle on the side here using these two screws. So you loosen the screws, then you slide it in and then you have the same mechanism as on the R7 pedals. If you mount it, I would increase the pedal height slightly because otherwise, unless you have tiny feet, your foot will sit higher because of this uh, heel support thingy. But very nice. This is actually a nice feature of the R7 that you can get for the VX Pro as well. And in general, build quality, it's sim grade, it's very good. 20 kilogram load cell on the throttle, 200 kilogram load cells on the brake and the clutch. They say the brake can do up to 90 kilograms. To be honest, I think it's more than that, but I can't measure it. Then the typical sim grade stuff, you have bearings in all the major pivot points, absolutely no flex, very good build quality, a maintenance free design, according to sim grade, we'll see. A very compact design, takes very little space on the rig. So far, insanely impressed by these pedals. The brake feels amazing, especially in the softer settings. It has a nice progressive feel to it and definitely compares to the best brakes that I've tried on the channel so far. So you probably think 299, they must be made in China. No, they are actually made in Finland as well. No idea how they give you this price. The software, the same as in the Terra, in true sim racing fashion, it looks like from 1980, uh, but at least it's purple <laughs> and it does everything that you need a software to do. You can do custom curves, you can do dead zones, you can do maximum calibration at 80% or stuff like that. Uh, everything in there just looks a bit nostalgic. And yeah, as you can probably tell, I've been insanely surprised and impressed by these pedals. The price is way too low for what they do. The brake is amazing. The throttle is really good after I adjusted it with a logarithmic curve. They have a pre-order price till this Friday, I think. And if you're looking for pedals, you don't want to break the bank, pre-order these, honestly. If there are no surprises during the longer testing, I will post a full review. I don't see how anybody can compare with these pedals at this price, to be honest. Amazing job by SimGrade. The links in the description are no affiliate links. I don't get anything if you buy these pedals. I just wanted to put out this video because it's an amazing product. You can save at least 100 euros if you pre-order and if you're looking for pedals, check these out. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Just short impression video of the VX Pro. If you don't want to miss the full review, make sure to subscribe to the channel, maybe give the video a like, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye bye.